at the library to do a nine-page report on the Patriots Journal. It's really just a movie about the Patriots, about the American Revolution. My name is Michelle, and uh, today I'm using the uh, library uh, because I want to fill out the financial aid application form. Uh, I'm a student. I'm applying for the physical therapy school. My name is Robert. I live on a sailboat here in Brunswick Landing Marina. I come to the library twice a day to uh, do my internet business, and I also get books, about three or four books a week and occasional videos. So I wouldn't trade the Brunswick Library for anything. I'm Lamar Veach, State Librarian for Georgia. Georgia's public libraries are unique institutions in our communities, providing every resident with the opportunity to seek information at their own pace. Your spot at spinning wheel from sheep, shell, and apples. importance of libraries to me for a small town are having a place for young people to come. A lot of people come to use the computers, they come to find out information, and it keeps a lot of younger children off the street and it helps them have a place to come to find information. And one of the most interesting things to me about the library in Fitzgerald, Georgia, is that we have more people in Fitzgerald with a library card than we do registered voters in our community. So obviously the library is a very important place where people can come, they can be safe, and they can find out a lot of information. To be competitive in this rapidly changing world, Georgia's residents need every educational opportunity available. Today, more than ever before, I think the role of public libraries has become one of economic development and economic impact. Previously, we've been known for our collections and fiction and, and children's services and story times. The business community is now seeing us as a, as a valued aspect to the community and a huge resource. And the economic opportunities that it provides for the community is truly amazing. This is our collection that we have available for the small business community. We assist people that are starting small businesses, people that need business information, research, marketing. We can also assist them with that aspect of starting a business, as well as small business counseling. People that need assistance in the startup phases, we can help them with that as well. And also refer them to different agencies in the community that can assist them. library sometimes just to check out books I like and sometimes to check out books to help me with my school reports. Hi, I'm Joe Shenick. I'm the director of the Three Rivers Regional Library System here in Brunswick, Georgia. It's a seven county system slightly larger than the state of Delaware. I've been asked about Galileo and what it means to people in Georgia and this is the most fantastic resource that uh, I've ever seen because particularly if you're doing research, if you're a student, uh, you can get full text articles online in your home with a, if you have the password and you can get there are up to 300 and some odd databases including uh, books in print, Medline, um, dissertations, abstract, or all sorts of things there. It's a unique system. There are few states that I think can boast something like this. My name is Karen Haven and I'm the Technical Services Librarian here at Three Rivers Regional Library. We've been in our new building about three years now and our patronage has increased tremendously um, that we can't keep up with staffing and supplies and materials. Um, we have an excellent children's librarian and we'd like to expand his programming to bring more children and teenagers into the library and our adult services librarian does wonderful programs too and we'd like to keep that going as well. I'm Susan Wright. I work in this part of the library which is the library for the blind and physically handicapped. We uh, serve 12 counties, just this part of our library. You don't have to be blind. You can have any type of handicap that would stop you from being able to read. 
when the books come in, they are all mailed. Everything's done by mail service. Um, we do have some patrons that come in and pick out what they want. Um, the book goes out with a name on it, and when they get through with it, they turn the card over, put it back in the book, and it comes right back directly to us. Zanella. I am the library assistant in the teen department. Uh, this is the teen area. We serve everyone from the ages of 12 to 18. Uh, we have 12 computers set in here um, for teens to do homework on. Um, they can also do internet searches and things like that. We have homework help, we have study rooms, and uh, we keep everything on the computer that they need to do their homework. PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, we even have computer classes that teach them how to use these programs um, since they don't have, them. most of the kids that come in here do not have them at home. I'm Dusty Grass. I'm director of the Ahupi Regional Library System, headquartered in Vidalia, Georgia. One of our branches is the Ladson Genealogical Library. It's an entirely separate branch located in the downtown area of the city. The city of Vidalia received funds from the Georgia State Legislature to renovate an old building to put the Ladson Library in. They did this because they felt that the Genealogical Library was a key element in bringing tourists to the downtown area, and they tied it to downtown revitalization. Since the renovation and opening of the new Ladson Library, we have had almost every building on our block renovated and revitalized as part of this growing city. Hello, I'm Donna Howell. I'm the director of the Mountain Regional Library System in Young Harris, Georgia, in the beautiful North Georgia mountains. I'd like to take a moment to tell you a little bit about the Pines card. In my opinion, Pines is the most important development in Georgia's public libraries since their inception. Pines is important to all Georgians because it levels the information playing field for every citizen of this state. Pines at its core is a shared database of library materials and library users that's linked through a network of high-speed T1 internet lines statewide. The Pines card is free to every citizen of the state of Georgia and it is the key to 8.2 million items. That's books, magazines, CDs, DVDs, all library materials may be used by every Georgian free of charge. Currently, Pines serves 250 out of just over 300 public libraries in this state, and it's important that they all become members so it truly is the borderless statewide library card that it was intended. Hi, I'm Lamar Parrish, Union County Commissioner. Part of my job as Commissioner of Union County is supporting and funding our local library. And in order to do that, uh, I have to understand and, and try to get a grasp of what is going on and what the needs are for the public uh, with regards to the library. We have an excellent library, excellent staff. We have the importance of our library, or any library, I think, is catering to the youth. If we can somehow impress upon our parents and our kids the importance of reading at an early age, we're going to enhance the education of all those kids, which will, in, in effect, increase the quality of life for all, all of our citizens. So teaching kids about books, teaching kids how to read, reading to kids at an early age so that that information will continue to grow on them. They will continue to want to, to uh, increase their knowledge and, and education in the future is one of the valuable, most valuable assets of the library. In addition, we have an ad, uh, older adult population that's retired in this community. Uh, they have a, they utilize the library on a regular basis, access to books, the computer, the internet, uh, and many other services that the library offers. Union County is faced with the same difficult decisions that other counties are, which is funding the library. We fund our library uh, about $110,000 a year. Uh, is that enough? Yes, it's enough to keep it open. It's enough to keep it going with the assistance that we get from the state. Uh, is it enough money? No. The library needs more funds. Uh, we would like to encourage the, the state to be able to look for ways to increase funding for our libraries. 
Only with adequately staffed and funded public libraries can we meet our goal for a more educated and informed Georgia.